Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a video about what it's like when to chit chat, talk time with times type video. Ooh, who's got any second ideas? I like that, talk time with time. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to call it, talk time with time. And today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to work with creams. So if you don't already know, Queen's is a dessert shop in England, particularly London. I don't know if they have any branches outside of London, but I know they're in London. There's branches in Wolfhamstow, there's branches in Stratford, there's branches in Wolfhamstow, Stratford, no, Wolfhamstow, Stratford, Beckton, Ilford. There's two in Ilford actually. There's one in Gantow and there's one in Central, Central Ilford. There's one in somewhere else, some back of which place that I can't remember, but there's loads of stores. It's a new dessert company that has just opened and they basically blown. So I was lucky enough to work in Creams for a while. Wow, I think I worked there for what, three, two months? Two, two months, I think it's about two months. And um, one thing I can say, it was, sort of really, it was one of the most fun jobs I think I've had so far. Like, I hate retail because I hate all those people, but Cream's was actually really fun and I really enjoyed it and all the making like crepes and waffles and that, it was really fun. The only thing is, okay, this, this is how we're going to do the video. We're going to break it into good things about creams and then bad things about creams. So I guess you could do a good and a bad, good and a bad, good and a bad, so like that's it's like fair and impartial. A good thing is the late start times. Creams doesn't open until, it doesn't open to the public until 11 o'clock. Therefore, the earliest shift will be 10, which was perfect for me because I lived right around the corner from Creams. I lived like 10 minutes away. So I could sleep up until about 9 o'clock, 9, 9 o'clock, get ready, leave the house, 9.40, 50, I'm on the bus and I'm there. So I love that so much. I, I just, because my last job before Creams, which was McDonald's, I had to wake up at about, 10 to 7, so about 6.50, and I had to get dressed, all of that by 7.30 sharp. If I didn't leave my house at 7.30, I was going to be late. Even if I left at 7.30, I was going to be late. I was there every day at my thumbs. It was, it was a mess, even though I lived about 15 minutes away, but it was a mess. Um, but yeah, so Creams is a G for that start time, that 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, love it. Um, a downside, so that's a good point about creams, which I absolutely loved, I love that about creams. A downside is though that you don't get your breaks until the ending of your shift. So say if you start at 10 and you finish at 5, you'll get a break at like 4 o'clock, or you'll get a break at 3 o'clock, and I just think that's really stupid because I just feel like if you've worked for all that time and then you're just going to get a break just before you go home, what's the point of having a break because you've gone the whole day with no break? I think it's a bit stupid. So that's one thing I think was a bit dumb. I just didn't like that. Like working from 10 to 3 and it's like, oh, it's gone when you've got a break. What's the point? My shift's almost over. There's no point. Just let me finish work. Just let me finish work and then we go home. Because this half an hour thing, yeah. Give me a break half an hour before I have time to go home. What the heck is that? So that was a mess in itself. Another good thing about creams is you get to eat the food. But that comes at a cost. This is a good and a bad. You get to eat the food, you get to be around waffles and ice cream and chocolate and slushies and cakes and it's like working in a candy factory. It's actually so nice. But the only thing is which is a downside. You are actually not allowed to eat any of the food unless you pay for it. Now, this is probably gonna go into a 10 minute discussion this bit. When we started working, when I, when I went to McDonald's, we went to have to full milk on every show, which is like, cool. When I started working at Creams, I thought, yeah, free food, free waffle every day, free crepes, free ice cream, milkshake, this, that. And then the bombshell just dropped. <laughs> it literally just dropped that we have to pay for every single thing we take. Now, we don't pay full price, but we have to pay 50%, sorry, 50% of the menu price 
if we take food on our shift. Therefore, we cannot take any free food on our shift without paying for it. Me personally, I didn't agree with that. I feel like if you've got workers and they're working in your shop all day, I feel like you should at least give them a free meal. What is a free meal gonna cost you? It, it won't, it won't. Maintaining, you know, it's helping your, your workers. Making your workers have to pay for their own food in the place in which they work. Does that make sense? I never, I never, I'm gonna tell you, word of two months and I never bought a thing. Never bought a thing in that cruise because I'm not paying for food when I'm working. That's like me and McDonald's working a long seven hour shift and then going to paying to get a cheeseburger. No, I'm, I'm working, I'm not paying. One thing that was good though is that you got 25% off if you came with your friends. That is actually really cool, but there is also a con to that. The manager, I'm not gonna say which one, but there was a manager. There was, it wasn't like McDonald's, but there was a few managers. They do not want you to ask for a discount, which I think is again ridiculous because if you're at work, you're entitled to a discount. You should be able to ask for a discount when you want. It doesn't matter. You should be able to ask, but you can't in front of that particular manager. And I always thought that was just such like it was, it was nonsense. That's why I was, it was nonsense. So. I, I never went back to that cream. I've never been to cream since I actually worked there. Um, and now that I've moved, there's no cream here anyway. So, but I did like creams. It was one of my favorite like dessert shops. Even though I'm, I love dessert, I love ice cream, I love waffles, I love, I don't like crepes because they taste like dough pancakes. I don't like those, but I like waffles. I like ice cream, I like all of that, all of that milkshake, some lushies, chocolate. I love it, I love it. That's not my favorite job. Another thing that I didn't like, this is gonna turn into more things that I don't like than things that I do like, but it was a really cool job, guys. Don't get it twisted. It was a cool job. Another thing I did not like was the fact that people were so messy and untidy and they would leave their workstation untidy and you would have to go into their workstation and clean it up so that you can use it. Am I your mum? I'm I mean, your mom. Why am I cleaning up your workstation for? Clean up after yourself. That's how I always felt. It was so jarring. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Don't expect people to come follow you and behind you, clean up after you. They're not your parents. Clean up after yourself. And I know it's not even so stereotypical, but this was mainly the boys. They would not clean things. They would make milkshakes, this, that, this, that. Not all of you guys. Not all of you guys, because any of you guys watch it, but not all of you, but some of you were very messy. Make milkshakes, this, that, pack it everywhere, pack it everywhere. You go into the workspace, your head just starts pounding because it's just so messy and they would just walk off, they just go on their break or go to the toilet or whatever and just go and find something else to do but clean up and that was so annoying and oh, that that really annoyed me. Like, it's like, oh my God, can you clean up after you eat yourself, please? That was one thing that really used to be A bonus is to pay, pay is pretty good for a 16 year old because I'm 16 and the minimum rage, rage, wage for a 16 year old is I think it's four pounds something. I think it's four pound eight five, four pound eight three, something like that. Something ridiculous like that. And me personally, I am working for four pound eight three now. That's a, that's a joke. My dorm's rate was seven pounds twenty, seven pounds twenty five, or seven pounds twenty eight, or something like seven pounds something. Cream's wage is seven pounds eighty three pence, which is pretty good for a sixteen year old. Um, obviously, and oh, that's another thing. Usually in jobs they have the rate for 16 to 18 and 18 plus have a higher wage but in creams it's just one flat rate for everybody except obviously management and you know stuff like that but for everyone it's just the same flat rate, it's the same rate. So um, for older people I guess that would be a downside for me, I don't mind as long as I get my money but yeah. Money is another one that I didn't like about things that I didn't like about creams. The contract, we were supposed to get paid on the last Friday of the month. Please tell me why. I'm waiting all next week to receive my money. Must be waiting for Christmas or something because my money don't ever seem to come back out on that day. Like, and that was so jarring because you couldn't make any plans, you couldn't do anything unless you found some random spare source of money somewhere because it will never pay you on time. 
it's like they expect you to come to work on time, they expect you to do this, do everything perfectly, but then they can't even pay on time. It's a bit like, yo, are you gonna laugh? So that was definitely a downside. And that is another thing that I think I need to work on. And to be completely honest, that is one thing that would have made me left leave. If I, if I had moved houses, I would have left because of just because of that, because that really got me nuts. Every time it came to the money, it was a massive drama and it was just a bit like, well, you're so quick to make these hours, you're so quick to tell people to come in to do this, to do that, to do this, to do that, but then you can't even pay us on time. First payday was the um, fair enough, you have to set up the system, you have to put all the bank deals in, fair enough, cool. When you get to the second, third payday, it should not be happening, it should not, because people have been here for a long enough time now. The system is set up, what are you waiting for, Christmas? No, hurry, hurry up, that's, that's the point. So I just... I, I didn't rate that at all. I didn't. I just didn't rate it. But that is some things I like and dislike about the Queen's company. It's not a bad company to work for. They just don't pay you on time. And if you know me, you know I'm all about that shmoney. All about that shmoney. So when they don't pay you on time, that really gets on my nerves. But other than that, it was a banging job. It was fun. Most of the people who worked there were young. It was not to say old people aren't nice too, but. So yeah, it was a good job. I would recommend to anybody who's like 16, 17, 18 looking for a job that's like fun. Like it actually is really fun. Um, busy, definitely busy, but it's a really fun job and you will actually really enjoy it because I really enjoy working there. And I would recommend it to anybody. The only thing is payday. Now actually, and that's another thing, I don't know if it's just mine or if it's all of them that mess around with your pay, but please stop. People need their money. London is not cheap to live in, so don't, don't mess about with money. London is very expensive at the moment as well, so don't mess around with money. People need their money. People need their coins. Give them their coins. Stop going on to it. Other than that, Creams was honestly one of my favourite jobs. It surpasses McDonald's any day. I hate McDonald's. <laughs> um, my McDonald's video is also coming out. I have to edit it, put it together, and that video is going to be out. For real, McDonald's was that's one of the worst jobs you can ever get. I only lasted so long because of the pay. The pay was amazing at McDonald's. That's why I stayed there for so long. If that pay weren't good, I would've left McDonald's time ago. Yeah, I wouldn't have left ages ago. I wouldn't even lasted a month. I probably would've left straight away if the pay was rubbish. It wasn't a bad company. It just didn't pay me on time. But I would recommend a job to anybody. 14, not 14, 16 to 18, 16 to 20 actually. 16 to 20 if you're looking for a job. Check out Creams, man. One of Shatford has just opened. Check it out, apply, hand in your CV if you're in the area, you know, do all of that. They're looking for people anyway. Um, and yeah, cool, you know? So that's the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of. Want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. I know I've been slacking on YouTube a bit lately. I haven't been posting as much, but that's over, guys. That's, that's, that's done. I'm coming out with all new videos, every single, Two, two videos a week. That's what we're trying to do, guys. I'm also very active on my Instagram at the moment. So follow my Instagram too, at unorthodox unicorn at, wait, no, it's at underscore unorthodox unicorn with the underscore at the end. Follow me. I might put a preview of my page on screen over that side. That side, yep. Yeah. And yeah, so that's it. Bye, guys.